Hi, I'm Jana, I'm 19, I study at Robert Bosch College, and I like basketball. I would also admit that it's passion. I got a basketball game tomorrow, I'm a point guard, I got a shoe game. But sometimes this game is filled with patriarchy. It's a man's world, you know. Bas! <laughs> no! Bas! Bas! <laughs> I mean, being the only girl in the field gets lonely sometimes. I like breaking things, but glass ceilings isn't one of them. Yeah, I, I was depressed and it was sad and there were thoughts, but there were never actions, um, thankfully. But I wanted to share that side of my story because I know that there are so many other people out there that have gone through things like that and they always, you always feel like you're the only one going through that. You know, you walk out the door, you see someone that you know and they ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. You know, I, I would let her play it, but... She's just so shit at playing. It's Yana. Wait, what is your interview for again? I, sorry. <laughs> so yeah, I think Yana is a great basketball player uh, who should be included in all the games on campus. Yeah? Was that good? Only because Yana is a girl doesn't mean that she can't ball. Yana is as capable as the other boys. Am I right? Am I right? It's hard being a strong independent woman playing basketball at RBC. The boys, you know, they're a lot. I understand they have to prove their masculinity, but they don't know that people are suffering the consequences of their attitude. It makes me sad sometimes, but it's why I am a woman. I am strong, strong woman. Maybe someday, a little Yana is going to come to campus, not having to worry about hiding her feminine vulnerabilities. I am Yana, and I like basketball. <laughs>